That's good. Um, no, but Avril, I really like your point of view on that. And I like appreciate you sharing it because I do think that's a really like, I mean, two main things, like just being able to look for the opportunity. And even if you're not, we're not sure what it is yet, just being open to it and having that positive mindset of letting that materialize. And then also it's really smart to think ahead and you're right. This isn't going to be forever. It is going to come to an end at some point and we don't want to have squandered away the time. Um, but I do think just if anyone's like looking for, uh, at, well, two things. One, if you haven't tried virtual yet, it's working, you guys. Like that is one thing that I'm really encouraged by. I was really diving into virtual prior to any of this happening, just at the beginning of March and end of February, and like figuring out how I'm how I want to run my business, just in general moving forward. And virtual is working really well. Um, so I think that's great. And. Uh, Shoot, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, oh, oh. Also, just if you're like, I don't know what to do. I feel so overwhelmed and stuck and I'm not sure where to start. Share 10 cards a day. Like share 10 Mimi style boards a day. I'm going to keep posting that on our team page every day of like share 10 cards, post here when you've done it. But yesterday or over the past two days, I've shared 20 cards and I've gotten five orders. Like it works. So I would would highly recommend it, and I'll definitely share every day. Like I kind of pick a theme for the day, and I'll share with you what I'm saying and like all of that. And you can choose to ch pick the same thing, but like that ten cards a day is really working. Um, so if there's like if you don't know what's the one thing to focus on, um, that could be your one thing. Words to say for that segue. To I just lost you, Lisa. Hear me? Yeah, you're back. What is your words to say for sharing those 10 cards? cards? Oh, it just depends like what it is that I'm sharing. So yesterday I was really focusing on Quench since that was the new release and um, kind of went back and looked at who everyone who's purchased some and any ever product so far, especially people who bought Youthful since Quench is really like the complement to it. Um, and if you haven't sold any ever products yet, like that, I would say that's a perfect time to like do a poll and, you know, figure out who might be interested in skincare. And then that's your list of who to reach out to. Um, and let me just pull one up. That's a good idea. But like the day before that, I just focused solely on the, um, the shop for a cause boutique for no kid hungry. <laughs> And I, I know I posted my words to say for that. Um, so, yeah, like yesterday I posted that video on social and I like uploaded it to YouTube. So I also was able to like share the YouTube link with people. And I just said, hey, so-and-so, hope you're staying healthy. Wanted to share our newest amazing product to the skincare lineup. It just debuted today. That's literally it. So, um, and then like for the shop for cause one, I said, hope you're staying healthy and safe. I wanted to share that S and D is giving back to no kid hungry so that kids who are out of school and rely on school meals, get the food they need. These are three of my favorite pieces in the lineup. And I like had a little collage. I'm also personally donating $50 to Durham public schools foundation for each 10 orders to help make an impact locally. If, an, if a little retail therapy is just what you need right now, I'd be grateful for your support. And also I've, I've gotten five orders, you guys, but I also got, please delete this number from your contacts. So we all get the spectrum <laughs> and I've gotten several messages too of like, thanks for thinking of me. It's not a good time to shop right now, but like, you know, I appreciate the message. I'm like, no problem. I get it. Budgets are real. Like, thanks for keeping me in the loop. Hope you're doing well. Um, so I'll keep sharing that with you guys too. So we can all do that together. I think that could make a really big, could be a really big ripple effect for all of us. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, and Jen wins the award for being the newest stylist on the call. Hi, Jen. Hi. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> um, so I'm still in my jump start. 
<laughs> when I yes. signed up, I'm like two and a half weeks in now. But like, then everything with this whole stuff happened. So I didn't even get a chance to publicly or officially announce that I was even relaunching. So I've just been kind of um, reaching out to people personally, like individually. Um, so doing that. I got my first two orders, so I haven't yet done the official um, social saying that I'm relaunching, so I'm probably going to do that this week. Now that things kind of have calmed down a little from like a few days ago with all the, you know, closings and things like that, but, um, but I definitely felt the impact <laughs> from when I just started, so I'm happy that she, um, Stalin Dots pushing the 30 day, but my goal is still doing, trying to get my thousand by the end of this month. So we'll see. But I had, um, I had a uh, event Things so it's going to be virtual. Um, but her hostess has to cancel because she, it was for her grand opening of the, her salon. So now she's actually closing down her salon for a little bit. <laughs> so we're kind of putting that on hold. So right now it's back to the drawing board and uh, <laughs> just really, you know, I guess just individual. I'm just going to push, push forward, I guess. Yeah. And that definitely let's also talk like offline too, or just one-on-one -on -one with, I can share with you some tips and I'll definitely, I'll share with all, like whenever they announced that they are extending jumpstart and quick start, I was really grateful for that for all of our new stylists, but like, especially Jen, you came to my mind because she, Jen, you guys, Jen had two in-person events planned in perfect timing for her 30 days, but in the worst possible timing ever. Um, yeah. with everything that happened with coronavirus. So um, I was like, oh, thank goodness, like Jen needs yeah. this. And we're still going to get her to her goal. So it's always good to have a little extra cushion. But I I have no doubt you can knock this out of the park before the end of the month. Um, I, I think all of us like have just been feeling a little like stuck and frozen. And But I promise you guys, if we, I really think like if we just keep forging ahead and sharing joy and positivity, like it's going to um, – we, we can definitely bounce back. Uh, yeah, and if you want to, if you guys too, I, I know I didn't really share this yet. I read it out in the text that I was just reading, and I, I don't know if you've seen me post it on like my personal pages, but I decided to also, I really like what we're doing with No Kid Hungry, um, and I and I like when we do stuff like that, but sometimes when we have like those, the charity boutiques, I'm like, well, if you don't like anything in this like small selection of products, it kind of sucks that like you're not really you know, there's definitely cute things in there that I feel like, you know, it's not like I'm like, oh, I don't like any of this stuff. I don't feel excited to share it. I definitely do. But um, I, that's why I decided to do a personal initiative also for our like Durham Public Schools Foundation, because that charity does a similar work here in our local community. And rather than doing like a specific percentage, I was like, let's just do something different than usual. So I am doing for every 10 orders. I'm going to donate $50. Um, so, I mean, obviously, hopefully, we'll all have the average order size, you know, our average order size of 100, but then you, even if the order is smaller, that's fine. Um, so, I don't know, just sharing that idea too, just a different take on doing something to give back locally as well. And doing it as, I mean, I like that you're doing it. I'm going to do $50 for every 10 orders because then. It's just like a different way of thinking about it. So I think it's not going to be a ton of money out of your pocket, but it's going to be impactful enough to make a difference. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm doing like a tracker on my VIP page where I like every time someone orders, like it's like on a thread and I'm like, thank you. Like, you know, one out of 10, two out of 10, three out of 10 to like track it. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to be donating it. Like, I can't afford to be like, I'm going to donate 20% of my commission to, like, or whatever. Like I, I need to also earn the money. So, um, but I also do like giving back to causes. So I thought that would be a, a good, like new take on it. And it's, and actually that's how I booked one of my online shows. It's with someone who, who's here local, who was like, I could get down to drink some wine and shop to support hungry kids. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> and there, she was like, let's do it. So, you know, I've gotten for sure some responses from people saying like, love the idea of an online show, but now's just not a good time. And then of course I'm getting the normal no's of like, I'm not interested. Um, but you know, don't be afraid to offer what you have to offer. I just posted recently on my stories a box I received of my Stellan Dot, and I just got a text from a, a former or another Stellan Dot, you're back. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to kind of segue in. Maybe it's a good time to now say, <laughs> officially saying that I am back with Stellan Dot. I was just waiting for that right time, not to like, you know, take away or seem shallow, you know, like. Well, I think also too, like if you would have been talking about this over this past weekend, people would have not been paying attention. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I think maybe like, like, again, we can talk separately too, but like, is there a way you can even just sort of have a little levity in it of like, well, I thought this would be a great time to (laughs) sell it out again, but then (laughs) Jen, Jen, (laughs) Jen, that goes back to what Charlotte was saying about why would you feel bad? So many people are posting like funny vid- like memes about this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yes, it's serious and yes, it's a big deal. But like, I also am seeing all these kids videos being posted. You know what I mean? Like people need happy. And if this is yeah. making you happy, then like own it. And just like Charlotte just said, like make a joke out of it that like, oh my God, like of all the times to do this again, like well, here we go, kind of thing. <laughs> well, it's giving me joy. Maybe it'll give you guys. <laughs> yeah. Right? Totally. And I think, too, I really do think, too, like, I had kind of um, over the past, like, the first half of the month, I wasn't as as focused on sharing the opportunity, but I was planning on, like, re-digging my heels into that as well, and I feel the same way as you know, there's a lot of people who are losing work right now because they work hourly jobs or they're in the service industry or any of those things. And I don't think it's like off color to share that we have an earnings platform that people can tap into right now. Um, I do think that it's something that could really help people and you just never know who's out there who might really want or need something like this right now that we could really help. Mm-hmm. Um, so we do have that too. I have to hop off, but I will just, I guess that'll be my parting share. <laughs> um, and I think it goes back to the question of when you get stuck, what, what should you do? I guess, and, and that's what I'm doing. So maybe it will help one of you guys. It's just think, what would you be doing right now? If everything was kosher, what would you be doing right now? We would be finishing off the month strong. We would be prepping for April. A slight tweak, and I think that's where a lot of us are getting a little bit of that anxiety. It's not like we don't know what to do. It's just how do I change the language? Acknowledge it. Acknowledge it. Acknowledge what is happening. Be the solution and meet them where they are. That's all I could offer. So acknowledge it, no matter how you're doing your communi- your communication, acknowledge it. That, it's like with, with her, like, well, <laughs> fun times. Um, and then be like, so for example, I'm doing a birthday reach out and I did an image of me with, on Mimi, with an image of I'm hanging in there, how about you? Because that's just an easy way to get it going, right? You're going to see that image, you're going to remember it's a person, it's another human. And I'm acknowledging right off the bat and it's, and I'm just saying, Hey, you know, how are you doing? I'm taking the time to check in with all of my clients, make sure everyone is doing well. Cause we're all in it together. I also noticed it was your birthday month for everything going on. It's easy to say, I'm not even going to celebrate, but celebrate. You have only one life. Right. And just in case you need a little happy, I uploaded your account with an extra 25 off free shipping on me. Totally optional. But right now we all need something to smile. If you're up for it, here's the link and done, right? So I feel good about that because one, I'm leading with that I honestly want to know how are you doing? You know, because I've had a lot of people check in on me and that's one of the things we need to check on each other, right? So 
I think if you if you get if you just accept that we need to acknowledge it first, it's easy to take the next step on that, and then be the solution. You know what is the issue right now? Because take the birthdays for example. It's very easy. You know how many people are going to forget their family's birthday because we're thinking about toilet paper, which is the most ridiculous thing ever. And that's what I did on my VIP page. Actually, I think I need to upload that link. Um, I actually put out an image that says, you know, in a month where everyone's thinking about toilet paper, I guess people forgot your birthday. Not me. Happy birthday. You know, and I highlighted all the guys in my VIP page. And I, I told them exactly what I'm putting in the personal text because I'm texting just my low hanging fruit. Um, but for the very least, someone remember their birthday. You know, so what are the needs right now? It's like the kids hungry thing. For me, it's just great birthday gifts or like, you know, occasion gifts. So you need it anyway. And by adding it to your card, you could shop anything, but just by adding one or two to your card, you're also doing good as well. You know, so, and then I'm diving into reaching out for the onlines, but again, leading with connection over shopping, right? More the connection. They will see the stuff, they will shop, you know, that sort of thing, but leading with the connection, because if people are not up for that right now, you know, it's kind of like, okay. So just acknowledge it, be the solution, and just kind of meet them where they are and just... What do people need? Like Charlotte said, like post some helpful videos. That's what I'm doing on my VIP page. Like every day with the hashtag of together at home because I refuse to use this quarantine thing, language matters. And I just refuse to use it and hold space for it. So it's together at home and I'm posting every day at least one tip, one thing, one or two things you could do because I don't want my feed to turn into something completely different but again acknowledging it we're at home so Jess posted that really cute video which I wish I had a little kid to actually do some of that stuff with. I'm like that was kind of nice um I posted that so many people appreciated it there is the one with uh, the free concerts that all of these artists are doing and I mean if you don't like Chris from Coldplay I don't know what to tell you but just looking <laughs> at his eyes I felt better <laughs> and his little thing was so cute. It was so sweet. John Legend is doing that. So just be that source of happy for people. You know, they'll quickly listen to you because you're acknowledging where they are and what they're going through. And even a random meme of toilet paper. Oh my gosh, I got the best one. <laughs> There's one with, what's it, Lionel Richie? <laughs> Holding the shark. <laughs> See, I'm dying laughing. Just thinking about it has, hello, <laughs> this me, you know, looking. <laughs> if you can't laugh at that, shit. You know, it's just like, come on. <laughs> right? I don't even know what it is, but I'm still laughing because you're <laughs> laughing so, and you're just so making me laugh. <laughs> Jerry curl. We'll post it on it's, our team page, please. Oh, I will. I will. Okay. I just we have, we I all have need to laugh. I have to go do. So okay. that's it. Well, thank you for leaving us with your wisdom. Thank you for parting with your wisdom. (laughs) Bye. Good to see you. Good to see you guys, too. How do I get out of this? There you go. (laughs) Well, does anyone have any, like, other last thoughts or things to share? Um, We're we're here at the hour mark, so we can definitely go ahead and wrap things up here soon. But I also don't want to cut anyone short. Any just like questions that you have or things you want to get answered? You know, Zoom stock is up. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently the they've day. been like, oh, yeah, they've been overloaded too, and like had some like I know um, selling at home office was having some like technical problems with with Zoom the other day because like their system was just so like overloaded with users. Yeah. It's crazy, but it's, it's also like, I've been thinking like, wow, I'm really grateful for like having this technology mm-hmm. during this time and like having FaceTime and having social media, like we have ways to stay connected. It doesn't feel the same and it's definitely not normal, but it's nice that there are things that we can do to not be completely isolated. Well, so. and just to throw this out here too, I had um, an online, like a Zoom council meeting with 
my junior league council. And all of these women, they, they didn't even know this platform existed and they were so awkward on the video. Like they were, it was almost like when you FaceTime your parents and it's like this or like, <laughs> It's like this. My mom was FaceTiming me earlier and she was like, (laughs) Yes. Yeah. Hold the phone further away from your page. To bring it full circle, it's like we have done this for for years now. So it's just really cool that even though everything else outside has changed, like this still feels normal. You know, like this doesn't feel like, oh my gosh, this is so strange. And I would definitely I, I would be totally down with, by the way, doing this every week. And yeah, just me too. Hearing what's going on and like just seeing you guys. I mean, I, I think that I'm down if you guys would be down. I'm down. I say, like, let's just do the same time next Thursday if everyone thinks that sounds good. Um, and I would definitely recommend too, because I'm going to do the Zoom thing with my VIPs again next Wednesday. And I would definitely recommend doing that. And it was totally, totally like what Avril was saying. Like it was, it was about connection. It wasn't about sales at all. Like it was really just kind of recreating, like if I were hosting my own trunk show in my own house, Mm -hmm. like what would that be like? And, um, you know, so I did share some style tips and was like, okay, like if you're working from home and you're doing video chats, like wear some statement earrings, here are a couple of my favorites, but like half of it was really just socializing and like, it was fun to get like introduce different people to each other and like, how's everyone doing kind of catch up. And like, again, I could just like sense from these ladies that they were just like craving this, like uh, this outlet. And I think that next week it'll be even greater and hopefully more people want to hop on. And they were like, next week, can you do like some like more tips? And I was like, sure. Like, how about I do like trends for the season? And they were like, yes, like that sounds great. So, um, I would recommend doing that too if you have if you uh, want to set something like that up. Is Zoom free as a host? Just, yeah, it's free. I mean, yeah. You just get like cut, levels. You get cut off at like forty minutes or forty five minutes. That's why I had us all like hop back up, and we did the same thing last night on mine too. And I just told them at the beginning, I was like, I use the free version, so it only like it has a time limit, but like whenever it says. Um, it'll give you a 10 minute warning and then it has like a countdown. And so when it got to like five minutes, I was like, okay, we only have a couple minutes left. Like, let's just all hop off and then just like click the same link and hop right back on. And everybody did. And that was really like no big deal. And I did like a, I just did a door prize. Um, you know, again, retired sample. Free shipping. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. (laughs) Yeah, I know. I've been doing free shipping as one of the giveaways in my online shows. And I was like, shoot, I have to come up with something different for that now because everybody is free shipping. It's not a very good giveaway. So, um, so yeah, that sounds great. Well, I'm really glad you guys all hopped on today. Um, and if anything, that really quick, I meant to say this to Jess. So Jess, one of my in-persons that canceled, um, I rebooked her for, April, like end of April, like hoping that this is okay. But then I'm also running a virtual event with her this month. So like the link is open because I just, you know, changed the date. And so I preload, like I sent her a template email to send out and it's mostly for people that wouldn't have come to her in show in home show anyway, but I'm still, even if that woman doesn't want to do a virtual show, just give her the option of sending out this template email or like just letting her know that people are going to shop, like push it, like push her link and have people still shop on that link anyway. And she's our, she's had three people shop so far. That's great. Yeah. So just, even if she doesn't want to go virtual, just, you know, whatever. Yeah. Something. Well, I actually, uh, this is like a, there's a lot of things happening right now. So sorry if there's lots of background noise. We're having like a 3.30 PM lunch slash dinner slash, I don't even know. Of, of broiled salmon. Um, last fall, like fall 2018, I was doing, um, I tried, a, uh, in addition to the online like Facebook part of the show, I was doing a MailChimp, like, what's it called? When you do like a campaign, like a MailChimp campaign for online. And that was like a pretty good conversion. So that's a great idea. It's kind of like similar, but... It just like Charlotte and I talk about this a lot. A lot like it's a different um, audience. Like who checks their emails and shops through emails versus who checks their Facebook and mm-hmm. shops through Facebook. So 
which is a lot more work if you were to do it that way, like run it across all platforms, but good idea, Jess. And um, Jessica also mentioned in her live that um, skincare sales are actually up. So people might not be, and people still are shopping for fashion. Maybe they aren't quite as much as they would be since they don't have anywhere to go. But it's kind of a time where people might be like, well, I'm stuck at home. I might as well like treat myself a little bit. And so if you, you know, obviously we have this like you do you model. If you weren't really wanting to share ever as much, it, it, I mean, this might just be a, a time to like rethink that. And if you ha like, also our, our delight center is shipping or distribution center is shipping really fast right now. Like I did my order for quench and all that stuff on Tuesday and it's supposed to be coming tomorrow. So like you, if you haven't gotten a regimen yet, like go order one and wash your face on social media and like just kind of maybe to see what happens. Girl, wash your face. Seriously, <laughs> and stop apologizing. Girl, stop apologizing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, here's another um, thing. I have nowhere to put this like roasted broccoli. <laughs> what the hell? Um, here's another quick idea. I'm <laughs> around. My child, I mean, she did not nap. Um, Here's, a, here's an idea we could do in our VIP groups, like not that, to say we're pros, but like going off that idea that we've been doing Zoom for so long, like what if we were like, hey, here's a quick tutorial on like how to not look like a shit show when you're taking conference calls or teaching online, like order this tripod for $10, face a window, like just kind of like a put your leggings on. Oh, ours, like we, we have leggings that are like benefit a cause, whatever. And then like party up top pajama on the bottom like I don't know that could give like that's like service oriented kind of funny like are you also gonna say like take your dinner out of the oven during it <laughs> don't do anything <laughs> I do. no I think that's a really good idea I like think it's a really good idea. like but it's just kind of like a kind of I'm just know, I'm kidding you know I'm joking. no I think that's a great idea yeah I think anything that we can think of is like how can we serve people or like what kind of maybe weird unique expertise we have that could be helpful for people like I mean I posted my, that blog post at the beginning of the week with tips for working from home which was really well received um and I mean it's like the simplest tips I like when I read it I'm like these seem dumb but if, if people have never worked from home before on a right consistent basis like I've gotten good feedback on that so I think that's a great idea share your favorite dry shampoo which everyone needs what's that <laughs> <laughs> I heard you, Ada. All right, I have to hop up too. Yeah, but I've got to hop off. All right. Thursday. Thank you guys. Don't hesitate to reach out if there's anything you have questions about or, or need help with. Hi, Ada. <laughs> yeah, oh, she can't hear you. Yeah, they're oh, saying you have your headphones on. Um, and then, yeah, and we'll, we'll do this same time, same place next week also. Thanks for hopping yeah. on. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Love and hugs Stay to you guys. Safe. Bye. Bye. Bye.